I get so nervous. Well, I don't get nervous. I I kind of just accepted that it's like too late for me to take back all the things I've said. Oh, I'm yeah. like, if you're going to. And also, I think that cancel culture is dying right now. And people are kind of getting over tattling on each other for saying Well, they're just things. they're it's realizing like, it's not doing anything. It's not real. We've all we all say horrible things. Every single person. Every person says something bad. And even, whether it's funny or they're serious, everyone's saying bad things. And it's like you can't just make everyone lose their jobs because you don't like yeah. the things they're saying. Well, yeah. It's insane. Remember freedom of speech? It's gone, bitch. It's gone. (laughs) It's fucking gone. It's gone. You used to be able to say what you want. Yeah. And now what? Now you can't. And kill Tony. That's the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Like you, everybody says the worst shit. I mean, I I said some horrible things on there (laughs) before he was filming. (laughs) Yeah. He might have been filming early. Yeah. Were you guys being filmed? Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. But they didn't put it out like they do now. No, they're all out. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, they're all out on YouTube. Every every one of them. Every embarrassing set. Maybe it is. I mean, some people are like, I saw your sets on Kill Tony. I'm like, you saw my third set online? Yeah, what an asshole. Or they judge you on like, oh, I saw that set where you did. And I'm like, that was the second week of comedy. Yeah. Like, uh, at least go to the next clip. Please stop looking at my old videos that I didn't post. That I, If you look exactly. at my YouTube page, I don't post any of my stand-up. Ever. Why? I just... Well, you just recorded a special. I just recorded oh, a special. Oh, yeah. How did it go? Good. I'm excited. It was really good. I was really excited. Actually, you know what's funny? Your special is the, the only one I've ever, like, comedian special I've ever gone to and watched. Oh, here. Yeah. yeah. It was oh, awesome. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. It was really good. <laughs> But I never put my stuff out online. I feel like it's weird to put your, I don't know it. Well, you have so much other content as well, you guys especially. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you guys have done so many things together and separately, whatever. But I I loved, I always talk about working with you guys when you cast me as Sandro's mom. Sandro's mom. Funny. (laughs) You're a good actress. But I remember my brother Johnny going, Sandro's mom. He's older than you, right? <laughs> I was like, that was the bit. Know. That was the bit. Everybody was like, it's so everybody funny. Everybody was like, it was so funny, but but, but I ha- she didn't look old enough to be his mom. <laughs> we were like, we know. Oh, I have full Farrah Fawcett of my hair. Like, oh my I heard, wasn't it like all? Yeah, that? yeah. But it was just, I'm saying like, you guys write so well. You Your, your stage persona is hysterical. Like, Thank it's so you. good. Yeah. So I'm like so happy that you're finally part of this, which you're always part of because somebody was like, well, you know, these new people, they don't really have comedy store stories. And I'm like, Kim and Sarah definitely do because they've been here every motherfucking night. Oh yeah. my god, we've all been here the years. We've been here before the cameras. First of all, <laughs> we were here the before cameras. the cameras. Before That's, Adam, I bef- was here when Tommy was the. Well, me was, too. Adam was uh, the a manager. manager. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. were B A before Adam. B A B A perfect. Yeah, be- That's B-A. the best way. But uh, but we were also A T after Tommy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, yeah. No, I was. I came when Tommy was here. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, yeah. Right. I was here when he Tommy was, was here too. Was he? How was he to you guys? He said this to me. He was a talent coordinator. Just, I won't, we make fun of him a lot. So if they know the Comedy Store podcast, he, he'd be like. I'd be like, how's my set? He'd be like, well, first of all, they say eyes are the window to your soul (laughs) and you have great ones. So thank your parents. I was like, what about my set, though? Did you hear the jokes or like, how did you respond? I was like, thanks. Mm. And then I just walked out and then he and then he would pop out. smoke pot? He'd (laughs) pop out the back and go, does anyone have a bowl for me? (laughs) Do you remember that? Like, like, I don't know. Do you have a spot for me? Get out of here. <laughs> so many comics got spots that way. <laughs> Just giving him weed. weed. Giving him weed. Oh, I didn't know. I would giving more him weed. weed. <laughs> I didn't my, know. My ex used to bring weed for him. Hey, I'll bring Tommy weed. I'm like, you don't have to. <laughs> and I was like, it's not going to help me become a paid regular it was faster. Double time for you. I yeah, love that. Uh, but he was so cute about it. He's like, yeah, but he likes weed. Like Ron, my ex used to bring everybody weed. Mm-hmm. That was his. Fa- he grew it, so it mm-hmm. was his favorite thing to do. And I was like, no, you really don't. Like, it's fine. I hired him. I yeah, think I'll be all please, right. We don't give him <laughs> Tommy was a character. Oh, yeah. When he came in uh, applying for a job, he, he had a guitar and just the hair. And we were like, you answer phones, you know, and we had nobody New Year's Day, New Year's Eve day. And he was like, he just went up there, played that guitar, smoked weed, answered the phone all fucking day. I, I, I swear he was up there. 20 hours easily because I remember like the night ended and I was like he's 
still here. Like I was finished waiting tables. Uh-uh. And I'm like, we got to get this guy the fuck out of here. Where yeah. is he? Uh, some island. He's dead. Uh, <laughs> playing music. <laughs> his One of his family members has a like a hotel or they worked at a hotel. I'm not sure exactly, mm-hmm. but he's there playing music. He's and thriving stuff. somewhere. He's a telling comedy store. Telling comedy store stories. Yeah, well, I used to run the comedy store. <laughs> <laughs> Rick does them the best uh, yeah. because they get they spent more time with him. Oh yeah, like I separate. I was like, this guy's just gonna drive me fucking crazy. That's how I felt about him too. I was like, I can't talk to this guy for too long. He talks too slow. Right. My ADD can't handle it. <laughs> well, Metsy says when you go on stage, well, the building likes you, Kim. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> it wants to finger you. <laughs> That's I'm the building. <laughs> uh-uh. When He's you a go transformer. on stage, you don't have to tell a joke. We have to tell the truth. <laughs> Did he say that to you? Yeah. That's such a good line. Yeah. He had all these like anecdotes. He had good lines and he had a lot of advice from Mitzi that I liked. But well, that wasn't from eyes. Mitzi at all. Oh, it was a lot. It was a lie. Yeah, it's a constant lie. No, he didn't talk about my eyes. I'm kind of insulted he didn't want to fuck me, but he I says, was brown. Mitzi says yeah. the eyes are a window to the soul and you have yeah. great ones. He Thank your parents. <laughs> <laughs> he may have thought you were different. Yeah. Too dark. Mm-hmm. I get it. <laughs> he only talked to me in the winter. <laughs> After the tan fades. Yeah. The tan fades away. Yeah. But so when you got, did you guys showcase? Did he get you a showcase, Tommy? No. no. Never. He never put you on. No. No. Not in development. No, nothing. we got past as friends and family two years after starting Kill Tony. On the last day of Kill Tony, it was like the surprise we got was like, you're done. It was way, Tony's way of kicking us off the show. And he was like, <laughs> you're done, but you're friends and family. And we were like, cool. You did it for two years, Kill yeah. Tony? Two years. A brand new wow. minute every week for two years. That's yeah. fucking impressive. <laughs> it was crazy. And sometimes, though, like you'd get up there and you'd, you'd think it was going to go one way and it would go a very different way. <laughs> uh-huh. And then you're like, it's, it would be like all I could think about because mm-hmm. you you that was the only way people knew you was mm-hmm. like your one minute set. Like I remember if I had a bad one, I would be so upset, like a crazy person. Yeah, because now like, it's on YouTube. Because now it's on YouTube, people can tweet you, and people people have opinions. <sighs> they, they also follow think that's like that he was doing it that bit, like that he was putting it online. That it's I just, all online. Like the first time, some of the times it's the first time you say the joke, like you've written the joke. Yeah, and For some reason I thought it was all audio. I don't know. I'm an idiot. Wow. No, no it was all on. But video. even still, he was getting listeners. Yes. So and some of the listeners are like from Kill Tony have become our really loyal fans. Like, oh yeah, it's crazy, which is great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they they're like lifelong. Like the people who fuck with Kill Tony heavily fuck with it, and then they just follow all of the people, and it's really crazy. <laughs> they're diehard. They're like cult fans. Yeah. It's great. I kind of like that. I yeah. love. I love it too. It's ticket sales. Fuck yeah. yeah. You need the fans. The fans. Are Every important. time I do Kill Tony, um, I get hit up. By mm-hmm. people or, you know, Twitter, on everywhere, everywhere, yeah. even TikTok. They'll be like, oh, we saw your kill Tony. I'm like, oh, I think I just for the first time reposted. But I have so many more. I was like, oh, I should post those because people really like them. Yeah. yeah. Um, and plus he's fucking selling out arenas, Christ on a cross. I, know. I cannot believe that. That's so it's crazy. It's so crazy. <laughs> but the, it's true. The comics, you get, you grow so much. I mean, think of that stage time once a week. I know it's only a minute, but they say that 10,000 hours, you yeah. know, you guys are fucking putting that in and yeah. writing a new minute every week Mm -hmm. also i it this is fucked up i know exactly how long it takes for a minute to go by. me too like when someone's like oh i'll be back in five minutes i know exactly how long that That is or if that was eight yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's how i am i'm like i know exactly what 60 seconds is and so it's really helped me just like not need a stopwatch after 60 seconds can you hear a meow yeah, I still hear that fucking cat in my sleep what was the the next one again um that's yeah. so funny in your head. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Yeah, so we've been out here since... This is how, far, how long me and Sarah have been out here. We've been at the comedy store since the main room had the piano on it. On the stage, On though. the stage. See, I've been here so long, it was next to it. Whoa. <laughs> when it was like serious? Like a Jeff Scott. <laughs> 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 My when name I is do- Eleanor. 
Oh. Who knew Susan? <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. The I'm words. a lady and I dance. I couldn't think of any of those old timey songs. Me neither. <laughs> Honestly, mine, both of mine came out worse than I thought they would. Uh, what is an old timey song? I'm hey. doing Arthur. Yeah. Like I was doing. If you knew Susan, like I knew Susan. I don't even know if that's a, lady, a real song. I'm a lady. Old lady. We're all ladies here. <laughs> Get off the stage, bitch. We need a La- Natasha Leggero to do it. She always does that. Yeah. That old timey shit. She's so funny. Um, but yeah, the, the piano was neck like a Jeff Scott would play or Mike Becker. Like, and the comics relied on it so much; mm-hmm. it was part of their act. Some of the comics would take them on the road with them. Wow! Because uh, I think Stephen Glickman that that happened to him, yeah. like because he was playing piano yeah, he here for a, a few minutes, uh, and just like people were like, "Oh, let's go together," even right. though he's a headliner in his own right. But like a couple, uh, Avery, he goes on the road with people, like. That makes so sense. So it still kind of happens, but it used to happen so much in the Dude. 80s because they needed it. The piano's uh, a the good 90s. collab. Piano and a, and a tap dancer. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I'm so a good tap dancer. Someone tap you dancing are? your punchline? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, t- I went to yeah. Debbie Reynolds' uh, tap dancing school in the Valley with my friend for really? a workout. She goes, no, it's a good workout. I was like, but I don't, I'm not good. And so I, I bought these tap shoes, gigantic. I have a size 11, so gigantic <laughs> tap shoes. No tapper is wearing that size. And, and I'm trying, and the girl who was teaching us was like, you're doing great. And I kept, like, bumping into everybody. Yeah. And I was like, you fucking cunt. You fucking when was cunt. this? This was maybe, like, in the mid-'90s. Tap dancing's so, fun. Well, she was like, is it? Have you done it? Like, yeah, when I was shoes? a kid. It, I loved it when I was a kid, but I, I, I only liked to do it in my mom's heels. But yeah. I was real little. And I was like, think, I just liked the noise it made. Yeah. And so then fun. I was like, I'm either going to be a tap dancer or a stripper because I like the heel sound. <laughs> yeah. The clicking. Yeah. And that was all I liked. You're like, as long as you're, your mom's like, as long as you're standing when you tap the heels. <laughs> we, speaking no of, laying down and tapping the heels. When we went to the strip club, there was a stripper that kept clanking her heels behind Oof. my head like this. And I, it was like a little much. Oh, yeah. I was like, I felt like you're just going to like rub your tits on me. I don't need you clapping. China. Were you, you were in between her it. legs? Like yes. that? Yes. Oh. Sarah was all up in between her. She was her. doing so this. Sarah, she you was... ever look at your sister and can't look at her for a second? <laughs> I'm like, I gotta get my sister So you ate time. the stripper out? No, I didn't. Well, you were close. No. Didn't, didn't, the, stripper, didn't the stripper want to eat you out? Yeah. And? I said, I gotta go. I'm not having a stripper eat me out. <laughs> Are you insane? <laughs> so you it would like be a ins- sore. It would be insane if you ate the stripper out because yeah. there's where the sores come in. You're oh. clean. Yeah, right, you should right, have right. had her eat you out. Okay. You should have well, eaten you out and then taken the dollars back from the floor. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would have done. I was saying, like, now we're even, bitch. I'm getting my money back. <laughs> Sorry. But so she was over your head and tapping her. Yeah. And I, and wow. I, and I would see her jump. Sarah would jump. <laughs> it, was like, it was like, Whoo! Jesus Christ. What's Who strip wants club? that? <laughs> Who wants a, a fucking seven inch heel right next to your eyes? <laughs> it is I was scary. Worried I was going to have to get an eye patch because she's going to gouge my eye out with her whore heel. Well, how great Ima- would it be? Imagine you're on stage and you have an eye patch because from a stripper heel. <laughs> yeah. Everybody wants to know why. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh, a little mistake over at the Yellow Rose. <laughs> the pleaser got me. The That's pleaser. what the shoes are called. The pleasers. Is that the uh, name of the strip club? Yeah. The yellow what? In te- Austin. There's one called the oh. Red Rose and the Yellow Rose. Oh, I remember those girls. Sarah, they were on Kill Tony. Yeah, yeah. With um, oh, Hans Kim. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was another one. Me and Rogan were the guests and uh, they made out with Hans Kim. I'm like, Oh, wow. We're still in COVID. Oh, he's the source. Ah! <laughs> what That's are you great. doing? <laughs> and they were, literally were like, Ugh. and I was like, oh my, oh my god. god, I forget what it was, his birthday or something, something stupid. But Tony had them come on stage with him. I've seen Hans make out with a few different women. On this was show. when it was at the Vulcan. Okay, yeah. So I love Austin. I think they're killing it down there. It's so they fun. Are. Me and Sarah have gone down there and. Boy, we need to stop going to the strip clubs. I think it's time. We like, we, yeah, we but did now it. It's like you know them. Like, uh, here. we had fun last time. That was not that long ago. I know, but we've gone too many times where it feels like we're, we're regular. I was a regular at Crazy Girls for years. Dude, I, there's the nothing best. wrong with visiting a strip club. There really isn't. I walked into a strip <laughs> I, I did. Illinois is making us feel better about <laughs> During, it. I'm not kidding. Well, then I feel like shit because I didn't mind it. <laughs> During, I knew the owner. We would go hang out with the owner. Oh, at that's Crazy the best. Girls. During Skank Fest, I, uh... R.I.P. Mario. 
I dress as Luis Gomez during Skiing Fest as oh, Luis so K. And did, yeah, yeah, you saw the thing I did. And then when we walked into the Yellow Rose, I swear to God, we walked in and the manager was like, Luis K. And I was like, we got to go. <laughs> I can be recognized as my ex-boyfriend at the strip club and continue having a night. Like He was like, Luis K, what's up? I was like, oh boy. And then he gave us free money. Free money. Free money to throw at the strippers. Oh, I see what you're saying. That's so never it's like happened to me. That's recycled I, money. That's yeah, how like, I knew here, I made it. Put this back on stage. Yeah. yeah. You're like, I made it. He gave me money yeah. to get the stripper. That's I was like, hell yeah. And let me tell you, it hits different when it's not your money. Uh, oh, of course. I'm so. like... Yeah, no, you're you're Sarah? making it rain. <laughs> I want to show you how Sarah gives money to a stripper. Oh, okay, boy. imagine there's a stripper right here. I don't know why I'm excited ass. about that. Ass is right here. Ass is voluptuous. Legs up. Let me move this back further. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to clicking. my pussy snap. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> She's clicking, and Sarah has and a pile of Sarah. money. <laughs> and this is her her pussy. Sarah's going this. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Not even in front of the girl. <laughs> Just staring at her Why? vagina. <laughs> Emotionless. Were you waiting for it to like pulsate? I was like... <laughs> That'd be amazing. I was like, <laughs> kind of stoned. Oh, okay. And then okay. it wasn't my money. So I didn't have like... <laughs> The same excitement that I should have. But you weren't had like it making it rain like that. Like, you I were just like, making it slam. She was sl she was <laughs> she was mindlessly giving money to a stripper, and I was like, "Can you slow down?" Like I look like someone's horny uncle. I she did. Like, it was scary. I was I was like, "You're gonna go to jail." Like this is like this is funny. Is she was just hand like it's a slot machine yeah, trying to put she's it in, putting in the clit. <laughs> uh, I kind of like that. We got to stay away from the strip clubs. We need like a break. Shit for yourself, bitch. <laughs> if I want to go see titties and ass at the strip club, I that's my God-given right. I guess that is your God-given right. Tits and I wanted ass. to say it like a country man. Tits and dance. Oh, TNA, sorry. baby. Chorus line. <laughs> Have you ever danced on a stripper pole? Of course, million times. It's really? So, it's yeah, hard. My, uh, my niece, I did a bit about it. Um, it's on my album, in case you're interested. Anyway, go uh, check it out. Go check it out. Where, where can they find but, it? No, my uh, niece got one for Christmas. Mm. And uh, I was like, oh, really? We're, you're getting her a stripper pole for Christmas. You know, it's embarrassing already. <sighs> and they put it in the living room. Oh, fuck. So Been we there. were swinging on that. But before that, way before that, when I was really young, like 18, 100 years ago, um, <laughs> there was this girl that was like, you're built so nice and i was like really meanwhile i'm a stick i'm titless tiny bit of an ass but like no stickless tit is a good name for stickless a special tit is who <laughs> my next band <laughs> uh but literally like a stick with like what my brother billy used to call him uh bumpy bits he's Ooh. like ew <laughs> put your bumpy bits away like because <laughs> they were terror they were so tiny and and my, i had a little bit of an ass but i was it's tall and thin. They used to call me olive oil. So I was like, whatever. This girl goes, no, the guys will go crazy from olive you. Olive oil, like Popeye's wife. Yes. So, so she, he, she goes, the girls, the guys will go nuts for you. And so she talked me into going to a strip club. And I, I try, I did like, I went during the day. You you became a stripper for no, a I day? No, I was gonna. I was gonna. Did you get on stage? I and... went out. It was closed. Oh, okay. And the owner wanted to see me on, and I was like, like the nervous, I can't even explain, like I was wet, My I was sweaty. Uh -huh. Like you're a kid, you don't give a shit. Yeah. Like I chain smoke. But I literally I remember being like, my hands were sweaty and I'd slip off the pole and be like, <laughs> I, I, it was the worst. It was the worst. He goes, no, never, no. no. He goes, plus her brothers will kill me and I'm never doing this. So I never did it. But I told Dom Irera that story and he tells everybody, remember when you used to be a stripper? I'm like, no, that's <laughs> I wasn't a stripper. I missed Dom. The girl tried to get me to do it. She said, she just said it would be good. And thank God I didn't, I wasn't good at it and didn't like yeah. it. Because if I did... You would have been in there. Like, yeah. I would have been retired. Yeah. <laughs> you could have relaxed. <laughs> yeah. Or Thank I'd God be you the, didn't. You might have been happy. The lay down lady stripper at this age. Just oh, yeah. letting the roast beef curtains come out. Oh, yeah. my God. They need, ooh. I pin them back. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? They need strip clubs for everyone. a hair clip? I got to get this up. <laughs> they do need strip clubs for what everyone's into. Like, they need yeah, an elderly, an elderly strip fans. club. Yeah, elderly fans. An elderly fans. I always great. say that. That's that I'm going to 
going to do an elderly fans. An elderly yeah, fans? Yeah, just pin them back and be like, look at that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> put a fan up to it so they can watch it blow side Flat. by side. And then we'll yeah. put some like stuff on it so it looks like it's wet, but it's yeah. All right, you that's can too you far. You can step inside of it to the other side of the wall like and hang Cujo. your clothes up uh, on it. <laughs> like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Like Cujo. <laughs> the dog. <just> Whoa. <laughs> Cujo puss. I don't know why I went there, but they would probably be like, that's a little far. <laughs> <laughs> Is she diseased? Uh, no, it's I'm... a rabid pussy. <laughs> oh, God. It'll get you. Hey, a rabid well, yeah, pussy. It's, it's crazy. Like the money people make on fucking OnlyFans. Holy shit. It's and crazy. it's like when you get... um. I get so many messages to start an OnlyFan. I've done. The oh, I, be, I bet you girls get bombarded. Like I, literally, I, no, no like, one even sends like, me. I think she's getting closer to creating the account. Yeah, check out this bikini photo she posted. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's there's like a timeline like where Mary Kate and Ashley to start an OnlyFans. They're like, that's one more, one more. I have I've a got- Patreon. I I put I put. Uh, there's traps on a Patreon. Do it. Yeah, I fuck do. It. I would do it. I mean, I I get. I got one dick pic this whole. Ever since I had, I think it was Facebook, and it was from an older guy. And I'm like, dude, it was Feng Chao. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was bigger. <laughs> but like, I'm just like, I don't even get that. Like, people don't. They're like, Is she trans. Like, I swear, they say that a lot. <laughs> I've heard that. This about one me. guy pro- asked me to marry him every day on Instagram Not for really? like three years. Right? It was like I was like, wow, he really loves me. I started. Did you give I in? started to think this You're man like, must love me. He's asked me every day for three years to marry him. Then one day, I get a DM from him. I open it. It's his fucking dick. I go. I thought. You were in love with me and love wanted me to be your wife. Now you're showing me your dick. And then I blocked him. <laughs> then he tagged me from your account. Oh, he's said, the one that says to unblock you. He messaged me all the time <laughs> asking if I would ask you to unblock him. And I'm like, no, I don't know what you did, but you're blocked for a reason. You're blocked for a reason. So you blocked him I because blocked him he sent you a dick pic. Then and he, he goes Because I get it all the time. It's not dick pics, but Dice blocks people. Uh-huh. That's his favorite thing to do. Yeah. And then they, so then they there's a whole... Some of them on my, I get a lot of comments, but it's because they're asking if you can tell Dice to unblock um, me, and it's like thirty oh, people, so and I'm funny. like, keep commenting. I, I'm, it's, it's never gonna happen. But oh my god! I like when they argue in my comments. Yeah, yeah I'm like, yes, best. it's good for the algorithm. Get in a fight in my comments. Oh yeah, one guy was like, you're. I replied to something nasty he said, and I, I thought it was funny. I didn't care, but like, I wrote something silly and tried to like counter it, and he didn't even get the joke, and I was like, whatever. So I just let it go. He goes, oh, your feelings are hurt. I'm like, dude, I've been dead for years <laughs> fucking crazy but then it, it it got my thing like almost two million views because they were all arguing yeah. in there about what a piece of shit i am and i'm like I don't care. whatever uh, gets the whatever views, it is baby. whatever gets the views i am a piece of shit <laughs> i couldn't Yay. imagine like ever i see so much bad art on instagram and people trying to create and not do a great job and i never have the feeling of wanting to message them and tell them they're doing bad yeah or even if I you never s- have that need you see a terrible joke you see a terrible anything a terrible sketch at most i send it to sarah and i go well look at this what fucking garbage <laughs> Oh, wow. And they're going to be on the lineup? Wow. Yeah, there's a, there's a couple threads. <laughs> there's oh, a- the comedians talking shit about each other, the threads. I wish I could be a fly on the wall of the threads. I yeah. mean, me and Sarah have a pretty good one. The, I have a we terrible... were angelic. We're not angelic. She's like, we got some dirty threads talking shit about our we peers. Got... Like, shut up, bitch. We got dirty threads. <laughs> it's true. Uh, You're my, embarrassing mine me. is terrible. And mine I have... too. Ingram in some of them, so it's even worse. Oh, <laughs> I would love, love to, to get inside there. No, no, no. Oh, the are Ingram. you an Ingram text thread? Oh, la, 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 la. I could look through that all day. That sounds it's so probably great. so funny. It's yeah. probably the funniest one. It, it, it got so bad that a few people left the thread. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I that they were love. like, yeah, it's too much, you know. And so it's all all the way down to me, Rick, and Danish. D- Jeff That's Danish. it. 
Because <laughs> funny they chat. Out, they fucking scared them out. It That's was a funny chat. I was crying. Like, because I don't get offended. So, and also if it's negative, it doesn't bother me. Like, it's it's funny. Yeah. I'm like, at least it's not me, you know? Yeah. And so they just, whatever. And even if it's me, I get made fun of in yeah. this a lot. Like, they'll be like, you really posted this? You were good with this? Yeah. I'm like, fuck. But then I'm like, whatever. There's not, it's like, sometimes I won't post things because I'm like, I'm going to hear about from it. From the chat, from the yeah. boys. Yeah. So, but then I put it up and I'm like, oh, they didn't see it. And then like a day later it comes up. I'm like, fuck. They always find you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, me and Sarah in our group chat with Rogan and you would think that we're like three boys in a locker room with the memes we send it's each other. It's the best. I'm like, how it's old are we? Best. How old are we? No one can see these. <laughs> yeah, this is bad. There's a comic in New York, Nathan. I can't think of his last name. He's so fucking funny though. Canadian guy. And mm-hmm. he said that, um, it, he goes, all people are terrible. And he's like, if you don't believe me, everybody should have to show their threads, mm-hmm. their their text threads. You have to show what you, you say. I believe it's Nathan. I hope it's not the wrong comic. But I, I remember him saying, like, you have to show what you say. And I was like, oh, I, I just remember putting my put phone, phone away. away. <laughs> he's just smashing immediately. Oh, put it in water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is he going to take my phone? Like, I panicked. That should be a rule. If you're going to meet to someone, you should be able to, you, people should be able oh, to yeah, read Oh, yeah, we want to look through your fucking shit, I want to look through your shit. Yeah, both sides. Every whoever fucking complains, we want to see what an angel. My you luck, are. I'd I'd do that to someone, and they'd be squeaky clean and boring. Like oranges are good, but I really like tangerines. And, and then fucking text, and if, I wouldn't find anything, and I would just be the racist. You'd but, or you just get caught. Yeah, looking at their phone, and there's nothing good in there. Uh, if you're gonna get caught, it better be fucking worth it. He better be cheating. Right. Yeah. If it's corny shit, though, we should be allowed to execute them. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong yeah. with that? No, if you're corny, you should go. I mean, like, just like you said, like oranges. Like, I, don't know. I know. I prefer a tangerine. You ever have someone you just talking to you and you're and like, "Why? It. You've got to have more going on in your head than this. That you have to care about something else that's yeah. more interesting than this." And they don't. I hate and- small talk. <laughs> This is small talk. <laughs> so anyway. No, with like, you know, you know what I mean. No, exactly. And so like, how are you? If, and, and I feel, <laughs> well, I actually feel like a dick because before I started stand up, I feel like, well, obviously I was less funny before I started doing stand up. And I feel like I was a little more like hacky and my humor was like a little more hacky. Interesting. And I've definitely gotten funnier just being around comedians. And now I feel like such a bitch sometimes when I go back home and it is really really hard for me to laugh at yeah. like things well, that I used jump- to laugh at with my mom and I could see it kind of hurts our feelings because I have to really force it out of myself and be like, ah, that is great. That's rich, mom. That's good. Uh, Same. And you have to, but I used to genuinely think it was funny, the things she say. And now I'm like so past it and it makes me feel guilty. Or sometimes when people are telling stories and they take a really long time to get to the oh, fucking yeah. punchline. Like, or there is no punchline. What? If someone is telling a really long story, and usually if they're telling a story this long, you already know where it's going. You, when someone yeah, we don't little, need, yeah, we, they we get say, it. They say the first sentence, you go, I already know the end. Foreshadowing, we got it. So I will literally cut them off, and I go, let me guess, and I'll say the ending. You do? Yes, I go, let me guess, and then you did this, and they're like, yes. I'm like, crazy. What? I gotta go pee. <laughs> That's a good one. If someone's at, just say, let me guess I and, pee. Pee that, and finish the story for that's them. That's a good one. I, I am, gotta pee's a good out. I am fortunate. Sometimes I do have to my really mom, pee. That, that's true. My mom is pretty funny, so I'm like fortunate with that. But then there's other like things that they watch that aren't fun. Like my mom genuinely will cut your throat like uncomfortably. And she's Whoa. always been that way. Cut your throat. Like hardcore, like with a, a, a dig, like okay. cut you up, whatever yeah. the word is, where you're like, that fucking hurt, bitch. Yeah. You know, like, I mean, even today we were joking. I said, uh, she, I said, uh, she, she said, you all, I said, I would make a lot of mistakes. And then she goes, I don't make any. And I go, you made 10 because she had 10 kids. <laughs> right. And she went, no, 11. I married your father. Oh. And I was like, oh, she's good. She's good. my dad, bitch. She's like, good. he is an asshole, but you picked him. Uh, you know, but it's like she don't like let you get one up on her. You know what I mean? Like she'll figure out how to come at you. Rose queen. So, so I'm like, okay, I like battling with her and stuff like that. But then sometimes other people come over and I'll just be like, and my mom does it too. She, and she'll, she, her new thing is she'll hang up the phone and she'll be like, God, I have nothing in common with that person. <laughs> and I'm like, it's your brother and you didn't hang up. 
<laughs> no. He's still on the line. Yeah. And then you hear my Uncle Billy going, Eat? Hello? You still there? Oh, oh my God. I have Fuck nothing you. in common with that person. I'm my like, mom has, your brother. My mom's been doing this thing where if I'm high, she looks at me and goes, are you high? And I am. And she <laughs> freaks me out. I go, yeah, Does she I get am. mad? She Aren't you she serving? Goes, she goes, what are you high on? I go, edibles. She goes, okay. She's then, just checking in, she's making sure check- everything's okay. And she's checking in. When your daughter's an artist, you got to check in. She's every checking once in. Yes. She's like, "Are you high?" And then I'm like, "Am I high? Yes, I'm high." Like it, it starts tripping me out. I don't like being high around Debbie. <laughs> if Deb's in the room, is Debbie a judger? Debbie does not. Debbie doesn't like weed, and my dad smokes weed, and she doesn't like that either. My mom smokes weed. Yeah. Have you ever gone canatonic on like like just? Like heroin? Oh, like greened out? They call it greening out. I don't know, but it happened to my niece or my little cousin one time. Like it got so high? All the high? comics got her so high. And she was just sitting on the patio like... Yeah, and that I was happens. like, hey, who killed my cousin? <laughs> you. you can't leave your cousin in I didn't sacred think you ground, could... Eleanor. You know that. Well, it was in La Jolla. And she oh, was just sitting on the patio. Worse. <laughs> and I yeah. was like... uh, you know, I'm I'm responsible for her, and I don't do anything. I was drinking that night. I was yeah. very drunk. Yeah, um, but so was Steve Simone. So <laughs> the two real, like, reliable people. Oh, if you and Steve Simone are drunk, there's no one to save anybody. Exactly, around. that's yeah. true. Yeah. So I was like, "What are we gonna do? Who did that to her?" And <laughs> and nobody could. Fit. She was just sitting there, and she had to catch a train like early in the morning. Do you remember? But it was just from weed. Yeah, it yeah. Does sometimes that. it does. I that. did not know that. Yeah, yeah. My mom will be like, "Is it just weed?" But like, no, it's heroin, Debbie. What do you think? <laughs> I remember. Do you remember this fucking like? I think homeless open micer. What was his which name? one? Aren't they? I all was gonna homeless? say Jeb. Jeb. Jem. Jem. Do you remember Jem? Kind of. I remember yeah. that name. Yeah. Oh boy, do I remember Jem? I did his show right by Skid Row at one his house. time at his yeah his Me government too. housing house. And I remember sh- the name. I probably- he used to wear tie dye and fall around the Grateful Dead, and like he was taking acid like he was eighteen and at Woodstock all the time. <laughs> but he was like deep into his fifties, and he used oh to cruise around God. with that guy Mugzilla. Mugzilla. Oh, never Mugzilla. It would be Mugzilla. Whoa. Wait, did <laughs> Mugzilla die? Did he die? I don't he know. had to have. <sighs> I don't. Yeah. I don't remember. He looked like he was on his way out ten years ago. Yeah, it's true. I'm tr- I remember their face. Yeah, I and remember. They would them. be together. Constant. Mugzilla. That's why and I Jen. remember them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember them, and I rem- I think it was Mugzilla that did this. I remember a comedian. <laughs> Uh, Mugzilla threw a party and a comedian came in like the next day so upset because she went to the party first mistake and she went with her dad it was like a holiday with party. her dad yeah and, to and, and Mugzilla house. had served a weed cake but didn't label Tell that anybody. it was no, weed I thought it was acid cake and oh. I thought it was Jem uh, Jem always had acid one time he's like I got acid you want to come by Skid Row I'm like not really uh, I was like walking over syringes geez, to get high. he's gonna fucking kidnap you guys that's he's probably crazy. dead now too yeah sorry no. to break the news to all the sad listeners <laughs> about Jem and Mugzilla we're still people are still looking for Boon Chocolaka oh. uh, we don't know what that's what we always talk about like the the crazy characters that I came Boone. here on open mic night I mean, Boone, obviously, is a staple. I love his joke. What's long? What's eight inches long and twelve. white? What's 12 inches long and white? Not well, a day. What is 12 it? 12 inches long uh, and, and white. white. Not, Not a, a damn, damn thing. thing. I think there's something else that goes in it, and I'm, <laughs> I'm blocking I it. I miss him. Do I you? Some yeah, good stuff. I, I don't. liked him. You don't? <laughs> you don't? Listen to me. He would come up with the bloody toe and the fucking dirty underwear. No. <laughs> No. Do you know what he did oh, to me? Oh, give he, me the mic. No, you sh- <laughs> Boom. Three he minutes. Single-handedly dr- had kept me dressed in the years 2011 you to 13. stole them from somebody else and sold it to you for a dollar. Yep. You yep. enjoyed that? I did, he yeah. He came oh up to God. me and goes, I got a chip and dip bowl. You want it for Mother's Day? <laughs> <laughs> he had like, good huh? things. He, I bought... He's my alter ego. Sometimes I do too many drugs and I want to like thrift like that. And like when he would come up with things, I like like things. So he would come up with things and I was like, yeah, for a dollar I'm Ugh. in. My ex used to give him like a hundred bucks and I'm like, Ronnie, don't <coughs> do it. Damn. I know. I'm like, Damn. why? He goes, no, I feel bad. I'm like, 
don't feel bad. He stole that stuff. Yeah. You know what he said? This made me laugh one time. Curtis was hanging out on the patio and he goes, doesn't this guy look just like Christopher Reeves? (laughs) And he kind of does. Before the accident. (laughs) After. He looks like him after (laughs) for sure. (gasps) Boone Boone is crazy. Yeah. He just dead, right? I we think we don't know. I have a feeling he's gonna pop up one day and scare it's, us all. Exactly, and be all dressed in the night, like pull up in a limo. Oh or something. my god! Because somebody said he had money, and that he had this like garage filled with stuff. I don't. It, it, there was so many fucking rumors, but all I remember is him like walking up to Rick Ingram and being like, "You got a bathtub," <laughs> and it, Rick was like. Yeah, he's like, can I take a bath at your house? Did he let him? No. Um, I remember, I'm like, there's no way he had money because one day he was wearing two different shoes. That doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> that, that sounds really? like a rich person By the way, thing it got, to do. It got like popular on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> the kids were wearing two different shoes for a while, weren't really? they? Yes. Oh, I missed that. Trend. My nephew did it. And I was like, oh, God. I want to get adult Heelys. Oh, please. Is that? Don't, oh, please. With me. the, the that, roller skate? I'm allowed to have a wand. <gasps> a, a roller skate? Their thing? shoes? Yeah, like... their shoes that turn into skates when you yeah, click yeah. them and then you can <laughs> skate away. This is what I want to do. I wanna, do they still I want to do my set and I want to go, all right, guys, that's my time. I'm Kim Congdon. I want to hit my nose and then just skate off. But I want you to do it off the main room stage because that's going to be more fun. Yeah, but I want to I want to learn how to do the skate like so ramp. good. Yes, yeah, so that I can hop <laughs> off the stage through the crowd with my peace sign up like this. That's my thing. Yeah, I want to do that. I, I like it. I have not it. seen any adults in Heelys. No. Not until you see me. But we used to have a comic that did a, a he closed a scruncho, very funny comic. Scruncho? Scruncho used to close Fat Tuesday every Tuesday and he would do it with roller skates and he'd do all these fucking tricks. The skates weren't tied. He uh we have no insurance. This guy's flipping around the main room stage. On the main room stage, just doing crazy tricks like you wouldn't believe. Skates what? wide open. Uh, I was I feel like, like that's oh a Jamar, my God. Jamar neighbors move. Can't you see Jamar? Scruncho, doing- yeah, they would be. Uh, Scruncho was like a little different than Jamar, but yeah, similar. Okay, it's giving that, Jamar's like, very before. sweet. He is. <laughs> yeah, Scruncho had a tattoo of a nine millimeter on his waist. So oh my Scruncho, Mozilla, and Jim. Whoa! Yeah, yeah. Scruncho was a bad motherfucker, and he's just funny. Is I mean, and so is so is, no. He's still around. He did a one man show uh, a couple of years ago. Sherry Shepard directed it. Okay. So uh, yeah, he's still he's very talented. He just grew up a little wilder. Like Jamar has some stories, but I think Scruncho was a little more embedded, if you will. Yeah, very funny too. Yeah, Scruncho. but the fucking I just remember the skates, and the whole time I'd be putting drinks down like. <laughs> That's, you know, I was so, so nervous because he's fucking flying. You, it's a half moon state, you know, mm-hmm. and he'd go right on the edge, like whoa, like fast. And I'm like, Jesus Christ! I don't know if I it's can like confidently like introduce anything. Oh, like he would that into my, into my set. into your. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, Sarah. I could hula hoop. <laughs> Sarah he, can hula hoop. Even I have a weird hula hoop skill. Well, I will say this: I don't think I could see you move that fast. <laughs> You're a very Whoa. <laughs> that was a little Ooh, teaser. A give, us a, give us another hoop. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what if you treat. like what you see I here. Seriously. <laughs> you should subscribe put that to, to my Patreon. Put it on no. your Patreon. Are you hula hooping on yours? No, but I do have an LED hula hoop and I should start. You should hula hoop in underwear. Whoa. Okay, Chris Jenner. And here's Jesus the thing. fucking Christ. <laughs> You're doing amazing, sweetie. You're crushing it. If you would just show your pussy more. If, anyway. you, were, if you could just show your pussy just a tad bit, you could make some good money. Yeah, just, just wear like, some white underwear with a little, draw a line pull where a lip the out. is. Kim it's takes fine. 10%. <laughs> yeah. I do need a cut, actually. And we have this on tape, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. So where you guys do a podcast together. Yes. Where can people find you? You can find us every Monday on This Bitch Podcast, yep. on YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, all the places. Then you can find me on Wednesday on Shank, uh, Spotify, YouTube, all the places, at Princess Shank on Instagram for show dates. And when does this come out? Do we know? Good question. 
few weeks. I also like weeks. that Sarah, when she does her plugs, she gives the same energy as when she's giving money to a stripper. So, it's just fucking zoned in. She's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You can find me, Spotify, all the things where I am. <laughs> and like, can you have some emotion in your eyes oh, towards sorry, the end? Because I wanted to know, because January 14th, we're doing a uh, main room show. Main room, main room store. show. Main room show. Well, make sure okay, you went well, to that. Well, thanks for coming to the main <laughs> we room. We sold show. it out <laughs> again. Wow. Two sellouts in a row, people. Things are getting crazy. And what about you? Um, you guys can follow me on Twitter at Kimberly Congdon, on Instagram at Kim Congdon, patreon.com slash Kim Congdon, twitch.tv slash Kim Congdon, Kim Congdon.com for show dates. I love and check it. out my other podcast, The Kim Congdon Takeover. Kim Congdon Takeover. I love it. And I want you to, when you do your hula hoop, do the dead eye like you were doing do when you were telling eye. your dates. Do the date dead eye when you hoop. <laughs> I'm going to be dead in pan Maine hooping. January 14th. <laughs> it's so fucking awesome. <laughs> well, I'm thrilled. Thank you guys for Thank coming you. on. Thank you for having us. You're a fucking, you're, you're, literally, you're, literally, you're the best. You're an icon and a legend. That's, we respect you so much. We silly. really appreciate no, you. No, you're love really one of, of the funniest. I love both of you. Love, you. love you. Thank you guys for coming on. Thank you for having Please us. Please check them out. Like, subscribe, do all that shit. Sorry Rick wasn't here. You know he's a cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's it. That's it. Thank Bye. you. Bye.